Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we were able to fine tune our authentication and now we can know that a user will be logged in even when the app gets restarted. Now in this one, we're gonna go ahead and set up our custom navigation drawer content component so that we can have like our app icon there and also links to go to the settings screen and also to log out a user. Okay, so for us to do that, I'm gonna go to where we have the drawer navigator setup. So here, I'm going to first uh, format this a bit better. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to see the drawer types that are available. So here, you notice that I can specify a drawer type. So the drawer type can be slide, okay? So when it's slide, you notice that when I come in here and try to slide, notice that it pushes the content to the right, okay? So also, let's check other ones. So there's back. So when you do back, then when you do something like this, you notice that it's going to basically slide in like that. Also, there are other ones, you can explore them. I believe there is front where it should come in front of the other one. So you, you do this. This is, I believe, also common. So let's take a look at what else is there. There's permanent. So for permanent, this one is crazy. I've never seen one like this, but yeah, it's there if you guys want to know. So I'll be using the slide just because I feel like it's good, but you guys feel free to change it to the one you want to use. How do we add, let's say, some text to the left? So most of the times we will have like an icon here to open and close the drawer. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to add something there that you can use. So if you go to the navigators, specifically the home navigator and also the screen definition here you can be you can pass more options so you can do something like options so options can be an object now you can specify a header left or a header right which should be a component for example if we did like header left like this should be a component then we can return let's say we return text so i'm going to return text here and say something like nav and save. So let's import text, make sure we're importing it. When we save, notice that we have the nav there and we can just style it the way we would want to make sure it's all good. So let's give it like a padding of 10. Okay, so you see that now it's there. So this is one way you can set options. Now, another way that you can set options is I'm going to cut this one out, is you can go to the component itself. So I'm going to move to the screen. Now that's going to be in contacts right here. Here. So there is a method called set options that you can get from use navigation, the use navigation hook. So now we can have a use effect. So we can say use effect. So whenever this component gets rendered, we want to dynamically change some options specific to this screen. So let's do a react dot here. Now inside here, you can say set options. So still it takes in the object, like the normal one you would give it. So now we can do like header left, like that. Then it has to be a component, of course. Just return the text and save. And now you can see that it's there. Okay, so now we want, of course, to be returning a touchable because we want to click it and also be able to show the drawer or hide it. So I'm going to bring the text inside the, the touchable. So copy it out, bring it in here, save. Make sure we're importing it from React Native. Then save. And you can see that it's there. Now, for us to be able to show the drawer, so with the drawer, we have a method called toggle drawer. So here, we can get toggle drawer too. Okay, so here, when a user clicks, so we can have an on press. So it's gonna be, of course, a function. So with the function, now we can say toggle drawer. So now when a user comes and clicks, you see it comes, so they click again, it goes away. And that's what we want. So later we'll be using icons to change all this, so it looks a little bit better. But now let's focus on creating a custom content component for this okay so the way we can do that is in our navigator definition here where we define it you can also define a drawer content this is going to be a function that gives you access to the navigation so here we can 
do this so in here we can get access to the navigation so if we do now we can return another component that takes in this navigation so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be returning a function so this function i'm going to call it get draw content so when we call it we're going to give it the navigation of course save it then let's go ahead and create it out here so const get draw content is going to take in the navigation so with the navigation now we are going to be returning some component here let's create the component you're going to be returning so since they're going to be here they're going to be like menu items i'm going to call them menu items or nav items it's going to be a function then of course we need a way to give it the navigation because it's going to need it okay it's going to need it to navigate to those screens so in here we can save it so that means that here now that we have this we can just return return nav items and give it the navigation okay so this is not returning anything that's because returning an object so what we want is return return some jsx so we're gonna have a view here so in here since this we might have like a lot of items we're gonna use our container you guys remember our container let's import it so in here make sure we're importing the view to so in here now we can have the image so i'm gonna go to the login so i'm gonna go to the login here where we're using our image and i'm gonna just copy this and bring it over here also since we are having a custom one we are going to need to also manage how our content is laid out so it's good we use a safe area view in here just so our content doesn't overflow to the to where like the status bar would be so we have a view called safe area view so the safe area view basically prevents us prevents the content from going to like the status bars and it all it just makes things to be always visible at all times so in here now we can return the image make sure we are importing the image properly so we have the import okay so let's also create the styles so i'm gonna go here and import some styles so import styles i'm gonna do from styles and then i'm gonna create another folder in here it's gonna be called uh, side menu then i'll have a file in there called index.js so that's where i'm gonna move our content component so i'm gonna do rnfe side menu now this should be capital m so in here now we're gonna be moving everything here so i'll cut it out come here then return that instead not return return that would be crazy okay so let me bring in my imports image this that let me just bring them in okay so let's create the style style dot chess should be styles we need we need the import for the styles too so we can cut it out here make sure it's here also this has already been imported so let's remove it let's import the container so let's come over here and also repress what we are doing so this should now return our other component so that should be side menu all right 
so let's remove this so in the side menu we know we can get the navigation because we are passing it so navigation let's go ahead and create the style so i'm going to go and copy some styles from the login because i'm lazy too today so i can copy this then here bring it then i'll just keep the one for the image so i'm going to remove all this and save so when i save you notice that we have our contacts logo there now we can go ahead and put any other thing we want to put so we want to put two two links one to go there to the setting screen another one to go to the to log out a user so we can do that by coming here and what we'll do is here i'm going to define like options like it menu items so i'm going to call the menu items now they're going to be an array so i'm using an array because they can be many and for you to be able to manage the styles to be able to align the icons properly it can be good if you make them an array and then you loop over them and uh, yeah so we are going to be having an icon and guys like i mentioned we are going to set up those icons so the icon for now is going to be a text then it's just going to be saying t and then we can have a name so for now the name here will be saying settings Okay, so then now we can go ahead and put a comma on this and also have the logout one so you can go here put a comma save it make sure this is logout not loop tap tap so logout so now that we have these we can loop over them and show them here so i'm gonna go outside the, the image then we can have another view so let's have a view here so here we can loop over our options so options dot map we can map over them so options dot map gives us an item so we just return a view so specifically a touchable because we want the user to be able to click each of those items so touchable opacity okay so here now this option should be menu items Let's make sure we get that so each key should have so each item should have a unique key so the key here will be the name now here let's destructure all this so we have the name we we'll also have the icon okay so first we'll show the icon here and then we'll show the name so the name is gonna be inside the text so text like this then we'll show the name and do this save it so when we do this you notice that we have our icons here so each of these we need to go left to right of course so we can apply some style here so style equals i'm gonna call it items so let's have styles.item like that you can come over here Find it flex direction would be wrong save then we want everything to be in the center so you can just as well do just five content center and you see that they're in the center now so now this is gonna do let's go ahead and in, increase this text and also add some some paddings and that kind of thing so we can go here and have another style for the item text so item texts so I'm going to be increasing the font size to 17. Also, I'm going to give them padding, say that we have some padding here for padding vertical. So padding vertical, we just give them like seven and save. Then we need to, of course, apply this style to our texts so you can have style because styles dot this save and you see we get this looking good now this is now going out of the of, of basically shape so for this for the item we can come and say okay align items to the center always and that would always look good so 
another thing we can do here is make sure we have some padding here so let's have a padding left of 20 to the item text so we will always have the padding there now the icons are not really aligned that's because this is just five content center okay <coughs> so to be able to center this for now let's go ahead and give it some margin horizontal here and here so this is each item so here we can have a simple style so let's say let's try align item center here so when you save you see that it goes here but it's also not uh, being able to align properly so what we do is we give it some padding horizontal so padding horizontal then let's do something like 20 let's increase it to like 40 uh -huh. 60 Literally in the center, 70. And yeah, so for now we'll keep it like this. If we get a better way of doing it, we'll be able to change it. At least if we get like a Flexbox tool of doing it. Now let's also add an on press to these options. So on press, of course, on press is going to be a function. So the function. When a user clicks on the settings, we want to navigate to settings. So we can do navigation.navigate to settings. Then we'll do the same thing when a user clicks logout. So of course, when a user clicks logout, we want to show the pop-up. We don't want to just navigate to settings like that. We need to, to log out the user. So we'll keep it empty for now. So here, I could go ahead and do this. Then make sure it's importing properly. So when a user clicks settings, nothing is happening currently. That's because we are not hooking up the on press. So let's get the on press. So once we have the on press, we can put it, we can also attach it to the to this and save. So now if we click settings, you see we come to settings, we can go back. And yeah. So now when I come back, we are gonna go ahead and implement the logout. So thanks guys for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.